I went through the biomedical program. Currently, I'm still in school. I'm working on my doctorate in clinical psychology. I, I love what I'm doing. I think it fits with who I am. The biomedical program serves as a good stepping stone um, for you to really get a good feel of where you want to go. One of my classmates, one of my colleagues, he's in med school now, so he's in a med school program. And two of the girls, one is a nurse now, and the other one, I think she's working in her field in the hospital, doing hospital administration, if I'm not mistaken. But everybody's doing well. So what the biomedical program does for me is gives me great insight of how the body's working, how things are aligned, um, the physiology of it, um, the microbiology of it, and then the psychological part helps me to see how everything is interrelated. And I think the way this program and this school is set up, every program is here, and that's so important. It gives you the opportunity to learn how to work with other programs, other disciplines, um, to listen. Um, they started a core class program here, so that also gives a, a good opportunity for you to understand what the pharmacist, um, the physical therapist, the occupational therapist, what biomedical students do, um, behavior health care, how important that is, and how vital we all are needed, that we all have a part. And so I think this school serves as a good model of what health care could look like. I mean, graduating from the biomed program and having the hardcore sciences, it's been, it's been hard. These professors teach you, picking out small detail in their notes. And I think what the professors do with that is they want you to look at everything that goes on, everything, every particular detail, pay attention. I mean, if you can pay attention to what's going on on a test, you'll pay attention to what's going on in your field. The smaller classes, um, you sort of build a, a good rapport and a great support team. And then it gives the faculty an opportunity to you know, mingle and talk to us and sort of guide us in where we need to go. And having a research mentor like Dr. Getz, um, people that care about where I'm going. Um, also, faculty members like Dr. Plotkin sitting down with me and putting those hard questions, what are you gonna do? Where are you going? What is your next move? Um, and being realistic about it. And um, those are the type of individuals that I just really, I, I really adore and I love them for that. You have a lot of faculty here that's already doing research. And so you have the opportunity to choose a passion that you may have and jump on it and, and sort of go from there. We have a system where we have faculty that really pushes and helps open up some doors. It's been set up where it's been challenging me to be better. So I might get a good internship. I might get a, a wonderful experience. It just really goes to you have to make the best of where you're at. It takes time to get here, but this is how we develop the skills. And so th those are the type of experiences that I have. People have challenged me to, you know, to step my game up. And so I appreciate that. You start to understand that everybody's equal and that we're all getting through the process together. I really had wonderful um, colleagues and students who just, you know, wouldn't let you slip between the cracks. They'll grab you, they'll study with you, we throw questions at each other. We teach one another um, because that's what was required of us. It builds a bond. We joke, we laugh, go back to studying. So, you know, those are small experiences you can never forget. Um, the truth is, it doesn't matter how much they present to you in the classroom, the textbooks, and one thing they do prepare you to do is to really learn to find your style, to trust your gut, and find your voice. And that's what Midwestern has brought out in me, to be confident in what I'm doing and to know that.